Good morning, Blue Whales. Happy Friday. It's I'm so happy to see you. All right, so today is Friday. That means it's our time to be together in an assembly. And I could not be more excited because I get to play a game with you today. I, if you remember from last assembly, I love games so much and we're gonna play a little game. And then I'm going to give you a really important reminder, okay? A really, really important reminder. Okay, but before we do that, we're gonna play the game that we played last time. And it was guess who that staff member is, okay? All right, here we go. Let's see if you remember. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm so crazy. I forgot. Before we do that, before we do that, let's do our Graham Hill way. Let's say our Graham Hill way. I have seen so many students with so many Blue Whale tickets. That means that they are being safe, they are being kind, they are being respectful, and they are being responsible. So thank you so much for working so hard to earn those Blue Whale tickets. I also, I have seen and heard of many students giving each other Blue Whale tickets. And I even heard that there was a student who gave a grown up a blue whale ticket. Remember that you can ask any adult for a blue whale ticket to give to somebody else. Somebody that you see is being kind and safe and respectful and responsible. OK, let's say the Graham Hill way together. OK, are you ready? Be safe in my words and actions. Lead and learn with kindness. Uplift myself and others with respect. Engage with love and responsibility. I know a lot of you are doing that already. All right, let's play Guess Who. All right, guys. This staff member, this grown up who works at Graham Hill, has a cat. This grown up likes to hike, bike, and be outside. This grown up, their favorite subject in school is reading or was reading. And when this person was in school, their favorite subject was reading. Who do you think it is? Uh, let's see. Sarah Jo, oh my goodness. There's Miss Beautiful Sarah Jo with a mask on and without a mask. All right, here we go. Here's your next one. When this person was a child, their favorite TV show was Ocean, a Japanese TV series. This person loves baking. And this person likes to stay home during their free time. You might be doing this sign language for I agree. You might have a connection with one of these grown ups. I like to stay home during my free time too. All right, any guesses? Miss Khadija! Oh my gosh. All right, there's beautiful Miss Khadija with her mask on and without her mask. All right, thank you for playing that game with me. I am excited for um, everybody to meet all the grown ups at our school because remember that not just your classroom teacher and not just the grown ups that you work with, every person, every grown up in this whole school is here to support you and love you and help you with whatever you need. Okay, are you ready for my next game? Okay, all right, we're gonna play this game and if you have been to, sometimes when you go to like a Seahawks game or a Mariners game, they have this game going on TV and it's kind of this, kind of very similar, okay? All right, I've got here three cups. I've got 
a green cup, a white cup, and a red cup. Maybe it's orange. Should we call it orange or should we call it red? I'm going to call it orange. Okay, green, white, and orange. And underneath is nothing. Underneath is, ah! I've got a little yellow ducky under one of these cups. Okay, there's nothing under here. All right, ready? And I'm going to take one of these cups. I'm going to take the green cup and I'm going to put the ducky under the cup. All right, now you need to find, find the duck. Okay, all right, but watch. I'm going to move it around. Do you know where the duck is? Do you remember? Do you know where the duck is? Can you see it? Did you find it? Ah! Okay, do you get how to play? Okay, now it's not fair when you have when you have the colors to help you. So now that you know how to play, we are going to make it harder and we're going to make the cups all look the same. Oh, I didn't realize that it was going to be so dark. Okay, ready? Here are my blue whales. All right, little duckies, going to go into one of the cups. Okay, ready? Keep your eye on it. Keep your eye on it. Okay, which one is it? Is it this one? This one or this one? Okay, ready? Is it this one? No! No! Good job! Okay, one more time. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Super fast, 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 super fast. Oh man, oh man, you can't figure out where it is. It's just so crazy. Okay, where is it? This one? No. This one? Ah, there's a little ducky right there. Good job. All right, thanks for playing. All right. So now I want to give you, before you go back and start your day, I want to give you a really important reminder, okay? We are in a different kind of school year where there's, where we need to protect ourselves and our families by wearing a mask, okay? Wearing a mask is so important. It's one of the best things that we can do to keep ourselves and our families safe, okay, is by wearing a mask. And you have to wear a mask at school. You have to wear a mask all of the time, unless you're eating at lunch, okay? So, and I know that that can be really difficult, but one of the things that can make it better is by wearing a mask that you love and wearing a mask that fits, okay? I've got a bunch of masks here and I wanna show you something, okay? So, we have a lot of these masks. These masks, I see them in the, like when I go to the grocery store, these are all around a lot. But I wanna show you what happens when I put them on, it on me. It's so big. Do you see the sides? It's so big. So it's so big that sometimes it falls baton under my nose. And the mask is not keeping us safe unless it goes above your nose. And if there are holes on the side, that's also not keeping you very safe. So this mask doesn't fit. It doesn't fit me. And you know what? It's not very comfortable. I don't enjoy wearing it. So there's things that I can do to fix this mask, like my mom staples taught me how to staple my mask. So I can go like this and put a staple on the side. 
and then do that to the other side. And then when I put it on, it fits a little bit better because it tucks it in on the side. See? Much better. But I still don't like it very much because right here, it's so loose that if I keep talking, it just falls down. So this isn't an appropriate mask for me. This is one we have at school, and it's a kid's mask. But look, it fits pretty good on me. It's a little small, and it's a little tight around my ears. So I don't think I would be comfortable all day. But notice that it fits around. It's, it's snug on the sides. It's snug on my nose. It covers my chin. This is a good fitting mask. It's the only thing is that it hurts on my ears. So I'm not going to choose that mask because it just, it just hurts. This is my favorite mask. This one. I wear this one every day. It is soft. I put staples on the side so that it fits. But look how it fits. Fits on my nose, fits on the side, covers my chin. It's comfortable around my ears. This is a good fitting mask, and I could wear this mask all day. I'll show you something else. There are other kinds of masks. Those are disposable masks. Masks that you can, like they might get wet and you throw them away. I don't, I wear a new one of these every day. So I throw it away and then I get a new one. Okay, those are disposable masks. They're also masks that are cloth masks. Now this one fits really well. I'll show you. Fits super well, but I hate it. Because every time I talk, cloth goes in my mouth and it's so uncomfortable. So I do not like this mask. I also have this one that fits pretty well. See, it's very large. It covers a lot of my face. I love the print. I like this one. And I'll show you one more. This one, tell me about, I want you to tell me, does this just feel like a good mask for me? It does not. Look, when I talk, it slips down. So big on the side. This is not going to keep me safe. Okay? So, it is so important that you have a mask that fits you. And I would love to help you. We all would love to help you make sure that you have a mask that fits well. We have all of these masks that I just showed you. We have them at school. You can have any one of these masks to, and we will make sure that it fits you just right. We also have cloth masks. So if you rather have a cloth mask that you can take home and wash, rather than these disposable ones we i would be happy to get you one that you like the print that it fits you just right so if you feel like you have a mask that doesn't fit or you don't love it then please let us know and we will make sure that you have that because you have to wear it every day and it's so important that you have a mask that you love and that fits you well so that we can keep everybody safe all right blue whales at the door, when you enter next week, you might get one of these. This is a blue whale ticket, but look at my whale. My whale's wearing a mask. And notice I underline the words, be safe. So by wearing a mask, we are showing the Graham Hill way because we are being safe. And so as you enter school next week, you may get a blue whale ticket like this for wearing your mask and for being safe, okay? And please, again, please let us know if you need help getting a just right mask. All right, Blue Whales, have a wonderful, wonderful day. I love you a lot. Let's do our chant and let's get ready for our amazing Friday. Ready? I am powerful. I am important. I am determined. I am resilient. Let's go. I am powerful. I am important. I am determined. I am resilient. Yes, you are, Blue Whales. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful weekend. 
Mua, mua, mua.